and I'm back. So wait, what about this? Yeah, I think that might do it. All right, let's make a hole in this one. I am not liking that pink. That did not come out the way I really hoped it would. Um, I am going to tone it down, which I can do with some glitter spray. So we're going to, um, my goal with this is just to kind of tone it down, not really give it a lot of pizzazz. I gave it a lot of pizzazz, probably a little more than I meant to. All right. We're giving it a lot more pizzazz. I wish I knew what I did with the silver. Is that the silver? Oh, I am. We'll throw some silver on top of it. Because I don't think that we just kind of brightened it. So maybe this will tone it down. Maybe. That's going to take a little bit of time to dry. So while we're letting this dry, since I've kind of made a mess of this, um, it's fixable though. Everything is fixable in this world. Um, I'm going to move on to one of these. Let me decorate up one of these. I want one of them for my, uh, I think I'm going to do this one instead. I, want, I need one for my blue page right here. So I want to kind of have some blues to it. It doesn't have to be overly blue. So maybe I'll kind of like that. Put like a little, yeah, that'll work. All right, so we're going to glue this down here because we can. I need to glue it with oh, this stuff. I'm going to use Fabric Fix just to glue this type of paper because it's, it's very fibrous, I guess would be the best word. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to glue it and then cut it. I think that would be the best way to handle it. Might not be, who knows. But that's why we're going to do it the way we are going to play this one. And then I'm going to take um, some washi tape and do the side of this too as well. This is never going to come up ever. Oh, why does that do that? Oh, stop doing that. Bad bottle. I, I don't know what it is. I just have problems with anything. Glue ink. Everything just keeps coming out. See it? Like it just keeps coming out. It won't stop coming out. My suggestion is you always glue this stuff. That's just way too big, I think. Well, we'll see what happens. Okay. So, mm, scissors. So what we want to do is we want to, do we want to go up there, do we want to, oh, this probably wasn't the smartest move I've ever done, but it's okay. We're just going to cut it all off anyways, so let's just do that. Okay. Alright. That, I don't really know what I was thinking I was going to do there. I really just not sure, so it's not going to go anywhere. So I just say I glue that down and then, well, it's not going to be that easy to just cut it off, but 
Yeah, that should be. Glue it down and I just kind of put around everything. I can actually fold it down a little bit underneath here. I'm sorry. So if I glue it, if I glue it down, I'm just going to glue it down right here. We'll see what it comes up with on the other side. Who knows? So we're gonna, I'm going to glue it down here like this on this side. I think I probably centered a little bit. Are these, are these the same on both sides? Yes, they are. So I want to make sure that the white isn't in there. So I'm going to glue it down on this side, and then I'm basically just going to cut around the square. I'm probably going to leave a little bit um, here, and I'm going to glue it down on this side just to keep for the support and um, to keep the bottom looking like it's tucked under. So if that makes sense. It'll make more sense once I do it. So let me just do that. Want to make sure you're gluing the right thing before you glue. Because if you don't, that could be bad. Ooh, way too much glue. That's okay. That's okay. We're just going to make sure it is really safe here. It will never, ever get to go away. Yes, I think I am going to glue that down too, just to give that a nice straight smooth edge. So we'll do that next. This might make it harder, I'm not sure. We'll find out in a minute. Sometimes I go into these with all the best intentions and then all of a sudden I realize, oh, that was kind of stupid. <laughs> Happens a lot. Because uh, that was not a good paper, that was my medical reports. So, um, yeah. We'll just see how. Much was shown on that. Now for our last tier. What do we want to do for our last tier? Mm -hmm. Put in another map. Maybe something a little different. Is there anything different on this map? Mm. I feel like we've kind of played out the map. Uh, something like this. that in there and then just leave it like that yeah, I like that idea move that over just move that over and then well, technically I don't even have to sew it up here
tulips. I love tulips. That's my favorite. So, yeah, we're going to go with that one. All right. Don't stick to me. Definitely let's cut that out. Ah, no. Mother. There we go. That's what I was looking for. Happy little. This honestly is probably one of the most complex ones I've built. I usually just kind of just do a few little pieces of washi tape. Um, but it was actually kind of fun to build this, so maybe I will do this again sometime. Not today, though. And this backing is going to get glued down to the page anyways, and I'll show you. I'll actually do it so to prove to you that I'm actually going to glue it down. That way all my naysayers out there know I'm being serious. I don't hardly have any naysayers, I don't think. I might. Who knows? It's a crazy world out there. All right. Oh, boy. I'm going to glue this onto here. That was, yeah. Yeah, that'll look pretty. See? That's what it's going to look like. And there'll be a bunch of tags stuck in there. Stuck in there. Stuck in there. Good lord. And, and the nice thing is, is that I wrap this around so the, um, the, 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 the edges aren't going to be like totally glued down. Like it's not going to be like totally, totally, completely flat. I mean, it's going to be glued down pretty well. So you're not going to have to worry about it ever coming up. But, you know, unless you pull on it and try to rip it up. I mean, you probably could do that, I guess. Just to make sure. pretty pretty square where did I shove the green that's probably a very loaded question right now is this the green I, use? I think so if not we're gonna be I want to just hole punch them. I should probably glue them. It's not as. This has definitely made it brighter, so yeah. Alright. Let's, let's glue. We don't have to glue too much because I'm going to sew right through it. I'm going to do that one like right there. They're going to stick off a little bit. That's okay. Oh, look at I went through a whole glue stick. Holy moly. Ah! Okay. Okay, let's toss that. Um, and what else did I want to do? I want to do something. I don't, I really don't like the way that edge came up like that. I'm back. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to tie these up. I'm probably going to, um, and then I'm going to fill them up with stuff so you can kind of get an idea of how to use these puppies. Hopefully I can get this down so it's not like a million hours long because that's just rough. What I do, I usually backtrack on my, not backtrack, I don't go backwards on my sewing machine. I turn it, the project around and, and then sew the, other op the opposite way. Only because um, I like to be able to tie these ends down here. I just don't trust the threads. Sneaky, sneaky threads. It's 
like I don't trust glue, you know? You're probably asking, well, what do I do with this one right here? I mean, you saw that I put that one on a page. What do you do with the other one? Well, this one you can glue it to a page. I don't really have a journal right now I can glue this into, but I will glue it into my next journal, and I will take a picture of it and put it in my um, Instagram or what have you. But this is actually, this was good because I got rid of more scraps. I have, like, just two huge boxes of paper, and... I mean, I'm pulling out all sorts of stuff to make these, like, these type of journals with because some of them are just kind of half pages. Um, yeah, I have to do something with that. Some of these are just kind of half pages like this. So it's hard to put into a, you know, what journal where you fold and make signatures. But this works perfectly, and I think I, you know, I think they kind of come out nice. They're more glue booky. So if you like glue books, this might be something. Or if you want to try glue books, I actually have a glue book and I'm not doing it yet but I was thinking I would maybe um start doing you know put I'm gonna put a whole bunch of like things not things pieces of paper with um stuff on them um actually not just stuff it would probably be like words or words that are actually legible go figure right and um I pull them out and pull out three or four of them because it's a small book it's like only this big so um, and then pull out, like, I found this, it was cut up like this, it's made this way, this book. So I figured three or four, you know, um, three or four words, color, you know, have all sorts of different things, colors, sparkles, whatever, you you get the idea, um, you know, objects and, and what have you. And, uh, you know, put them out there and maybe we can do a glue book session, I know some people like to do that, so, um, Yeah. But I probably don't do it like once a week, maybe once every other week. I don't know. It would depend. Maybe I make those like lunch bites, like make, make them like really like hustle through them, like get them done in 20 minutes, like a lunch bite. All right. So now let me right, give me a couple minutes and I will get these all. I'll put stuff in each one of the pockets so you can kind of get an idea. One of the pockets, this one's going to be a little difficult to get something into, I think. I think we might... Yeah. quick so here we go we got this one with all the different pockets and I'll just pull everything out so we can see the end product again so and you can fit a lot of stuff in these as you can see some people will make this the another pocket I just don't do that so there's our unfinished product I probably will have to clean up this page a little bit not a big deal there's stuff you can do to fix that up and then this is our other pocket There we go. So I fit in a bunch of uh, ephemera. Those two fit in a, a good deal of ephemera. And, you know, they make little cute pockets. So thank you for watching my channel. I'm going to now edit this bad boy, which I'm sure is going to be uh, so long. But, yeah, I just want to take you on a little journey with me. 
Thank you for watching. Um, if you're still watching, thank you. If you watched it at all, thank you. And thank you to any new subscribers. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.